How's it going everybody? Cameron here with Canadian Gamer. Hope you all had a good weekend. Just a quick video here to tie you over. Might have something a little bit later as well. Now, today we're talking about Dreamcast Guy. He posted this video three days ago. I only watched it yesterday. It's called Quake Remastered is shockingly good with an exclamation mark. And he's got a thumbnail, pure love with a question mark. The game was recently re remastered uh, as part of the anniversary, I guess, for Quake. It's about 25 years old at this point. came out in 1996. Hard to believe, hard to imagine. It's been remastered for the PS4, Switch, Xbox One, and the current consoles as well, along with the PC. You can play the game in high res. I think it's even in 4K, if I'm not mistaken. So Dreamcast Guy goes on about this game like it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. Of course, young Maxwell never had the chance to play this game when he was young. He talks about how he didn't have a PC growing up, and he didn't have the chance to play this game on the N64. So Dreamcast Guy posts this video, and he goes on about Quake again for about 10 minutes, just absolutely head over heels gushing about this game. And admittedly, Quake is a fantastic game even to this day. I would say Quake is... 10 times better than Doom, and I actually prefer Quake 2 over the original Quake, but they're both fantastic. That being said, the game is 25 years old. To say the game is a little bit long in the tooth is an understatement based on how far we've come with regards to first-person shooters. So again, Dreamcast guys going on and on and on about this game for about 10 minutes. I'll leave a pinned comment with a link to his video if you want to check it out yourself. And so he goes on about the game. He's just absolutely blown away by it. Uh, he proceeds to disclose that he paid for this game with his own money. He says he paid $10 for it. I think he said it was $10. And not only did he buy it for the Switch, he bought it for the PS5 and he bought it for the Xbox One. And then he proceeds to tell his audience that they should all go out and buy this game. I don't buy it. I think, with regards to whatever they call it, QuakeCon, BlizzardCon, I don't know. I'm sure Dreamcast Guy got a free download code to review this game. And now he's going out acting like he's never played it before, which I find it hard to believe. And he's going on about it like it's an incredible game, an incredible bargain. You know, $10, go out and buy this game. I bought it for all three consoles, he says. I think this is a classic example of Dreamcast lie. This is Dreamcast guy, Max Shockley, lying through his goddamn teeth again. I do not believe a word this guy says. I think he, again, I think he got a free download code. And this isn't even a review. It's compromised. His integrity is compromised. And this is just a 10-minute advertisement telling us to buy the remastered version of Quake. So... Check it out for yourself. Let me know in the comments below. Have you already seen the video? Do you think he's feeding us a load of BS? That being said, uh, it would be worth downloading the game if you haven't played it before or if you have, but you'd like to play it on your more modern console and high res graphics and resolution. It would be pretty nice to play. Who knows? Maybe I'll pick it up. Doubt we're going to get a physical. I don't think you could justify creating a physical copy for this game because it's not a huge game to uh, print on a disc. That's just my opinion. I don't think we're going to see a physical. I think it's just going to be digital distribution. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Anyways, leave in the comments below his Dreamcast guy lying again. Until next time, guys, do me the biggest favor of all and keep...